Imagine being aboard a submarine, hundreds of meters below the ocean surface, when suddenly, all contact with the outside world is lost. As hours turn into days, the crew desperately tries to regain communication, but to no avail. With dwindling resources and growing panic, the team wonders if they will ever see daylight again or if the mysterious depths of the ocean will become their eternal resting place. This is not just a scene from a suspenseful movie, it is a real-life incident of a lost submarine, which sparked a global search and rescue mission. Through this tragic event, the world was reminded of just how little we know about what lies beneath the vast, uncharted waters that cover 70% of our planet. This harrowing tale sets the stage for an exploration into the enigmatic depths of the ocean, where unimaginable discoveries await and untold stories beckon to be uncovered. While space exploration often captures our attention, we must not overlook the fact that the deep ocean is Earth's last unexplored frontier. It is estimated that more than 80% of the ocean's depths remain unmapped and unobserved, leaving us with little understanding of its vast, hidden secrets. The ocean floor is home to towering underwater mountain ranges, expansive plains, and deep, dark trenches that have never seen the light of day. These unexplored realms are shrouded in mystery, and the processes taking place beneath the waves are crucial to the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. The evolution of life on Earth was significantly influenced by the ocean's early chemistry, and the organisms that inhabit its depths may hold the key to understanding our planet's origins. As our technology continues to advance, we are slowly beginning to peel back the layers of the deep blue unknown, and each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the mysteries of the ocean. Extremophiles are the superstars of the microbial world, thriving in conditions that would be lethal to most other life forms. In the depths of the ocean, one extremophile known as the Pompeii worm has adapted to living near hydrothermal vents, where temperatures can soar up to 80 degrees Celsius, 176 degrees Fahrenheit. These deep-sea marvels have unique, heat-resistant bacteria living symbiotically on their bodies, which help to protect them from the scorching temperatures. Another extraordinary extremophile, the snotted, is a colony of sulfur-eating bacteria that form slimy, dripping structures in underwater caves, surviving in an acidic environment with a pH similar to battery acid. The Yeti crab, discovered in 2005, resides in the darkness of the ocean floor near hydrothermal vents and relies on its chemosynthetic bacteria-covered hairy pincers to extract nutrients from the mineral-rich water. These captivating examples of Earth's extremophiles demonstrate the incredible adaptability of life, opening our minds to the almost limitless possibilities of what other astonishing organisms could inhabit the unexplored depths of our ocean. Imagine marine creatures, yet to be discovered, that have evolved to thrive in the most inhospitable and extreme environments of the deep ocean. The crushing pressure, lack of sunlight, and freezing temperatures could give rise to new adaptations and features unseen in known marine life. In the darkest abysses, where sunlight is virtually non-existent, creatures might develop advanced bioluminescence, illuminating their surroundings with a mesmerizing range of colors and patterns to communicate or attract prey. Some hypothetical species could possess alternative ways of sensing their environment, such as advanced echolocation or electroreception, allowing them to navigate the featureless depths with pinpoint accuracy. How about organisms with unique metabolic processes that rely on chemical energy from deep-sea vents rather than photosynthesis, perhaps creating entire ecosystems that are independent of the sun's energy? Or consider the possibility of marine life with antifreeze proteins in their bloodstream, allowing them to thrive in sub-zero temperatures without freezing solid. Such potential discoveries not only intrigue our scientific curiosity but also broaden our understanding of the resilient nature of life in the face of extreme challenges. Cephalopods, like the octopus and squid, have long fascinated scientists with their complex behaviors, incredible intelligence, and remarkable camouflage abilities. In the vast and uncharted depths of the ocean, could we find undiscovered cephalopod species with even more advanced capabilities, such as enhanced cognition and problem-solving skills? Similarly, dolphins, known for their high intelligence, advanced communication systems, and echolocation skills, already astound us with their abilities. What if we were to discover new species of dolphins or dolphin-like creatures in the deep sea with even more refined abilities? These hypothetical deep-sea cetaceans could possibly have evolved to utilize their echolocation and communication skills to navigate the pitch-black depths, forming tight-knit social groups and displaying intricate cooperative hunting strategies. Imagine the possibility of a deep-sea species that combines the best traits of both cephalopods and dolphins, creating a new type of intelligent marine life adapted to thrive in the most extreme conditions. As we continue to explore these uncharted depths, we may uncover new species that challenge our understanding of what is possible in the animal kingdom, 
opening up new perspectives on the evolution of intelligence and complex behaviors in marine life. Let us venture into the realm of speculation and consider the possibility of deep-sea civilizations, perhaps hidden from our view, with advanced knowledge and technology. We know that water covers around 71% of Earth's surface, and about 97% of this water is found in the oceans, providing ample opportunity for hidden communities or even entire civilizations to thrive. While it seems unlikely that human-like civilizations could exist in the deep sea due to the absence of sunlight, high pressure, and harsh conditions, we cannot completely rule out the possibility of other life forms that have evolved in ways we might not even comprehend. Imagine a civilization of extremophiles, adapted to withstand the immense pressure and darkness of the deep ocean, harnessing bioluminescence for communication, navigation, and even energy production. Perhaps these deep-sea beings would have developed advanced hydrodynamic technologies, using the ocean's currents and pressure systems to create efficient transportation and infrastructure. Their society could be based on a completely different set of principles and values, driven by a unique understanding of the ocean and the world around them. The discovery of such a civilization could challenge our assumptions about the limits of life on Earth and provide us with valuable insights into how different species might survive and thrive in extreme conditions. Investigating these possibilities could lead us to remarkable scientific breakthroughs and a deeper understanding of our own planet's vast and unexplored depths, inspiring us to search further and reach new horizons. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of our own oceans, we must also consider the possibility of life on other water worlds within our solar system, such as Enceladus and Europa. Enceladus, a small moon of Saturn, is known for its icy surface, hiding a vast subsurface ocean that could potentially harbor life in a similar manner to Earth's deep oceans. The Cassini spacecraft detected geysers that erupt from the Moon's surface, shooting plumes of water vapor and organic molecules into space, providing tantalizing clues about the conditions in Enceladus' hidden ocean. If life does exist within this distant Moon, it could have evolved in extraordinary ways, adapted to the extreme cold and darkness of its watery depths, possibly sustained by hydrothermal vents similar to those on Earth. Shifting our gaze to Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons, we find yet another intriguing possibility of an extraterrestrial ocean world. Europa's smooth and icy surface is believed to conceal a global subsurface ocean that could be twice the volume of all Earth's oceans combined, providing ample space for life to flourish in ways we cannot yet imagine. These vast oceans could be kept warm by tidal forces generated by the gravitational pull of Jupiter, creating a stable environment in which life could develop and thrive. The exploration of these distant water worlds presents an incredible opportunity to deepen our understanding of the potential for life elsewhere in the cosmos and challenge our preconceptions about the conditions necessary for life as we know it. Future missions to these icy moons, including NASA's Europa Clipper and ESA's JUICE, could uncover new evidence of extraterrestrial life, inspiring a new era of scientific curiosity and exploration. As we ponder the existence of life in the alien oceans of our solar system, we must also entertain the possibility that extraterrestrial life forms could be hiding in the vast depths of our own Earth's oceans. The deep sea, with its extreme pressure, darkness, and largely uncharted terrain, offers an ideal environment for hiding advanced alien technology and bases from human detection. Some theories suggest that extraterrestrial beings may have established underwater bases as a means of observing and studying life on Earth, or perhaps even collaborating with certain marine species. Various unexplained sightings of unidentified submerged objects, USOs, have been reported by military personnel, researchers, and divers, fueling speculation about the presence of otherworldly activity beneath the waves. While the majority of these sightings can be attributed to natural phenomena or human-made objects, a few remain unexplained and leave room for the possibility of extraterrestrial involvement. Some researchers have even hypothesized that certain marine animals, such as giant squids or sperm whales, could be acting as biological sensors for extraterrestrial monitoring purposes, due to their ability to dive deep into the ocean and their advanced communication capabilities. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the notion that extraterrestrial beings could be hiding in our oceans continues to intrigue scientists, researchers, and enthusiasts alike, driving us to investigate further and unlock the secrets of our own planet's mysterious depths. The Bloop an enigmatic low-frequency sound detected in 1997 by underwater microphones placed throughout the Pacific Ocean, has puzzled researchers and sparked numerous theories about its origin. Although it was initially thought to be organic in nature due to its unusual characteristics, further analysis revealed that the sound was consistent with large icequakes generated by massive icebergs breaking away from Antarctica. Nonetheless, the bloop's mysterious nature has inspired speculation about unknown and potentially massive marine creatures lurking deep within the ocean or even advanced extraterrestrial technology hidden beneath the waves.
Another baffling underwater sound, known as Julia, was recorded in 1999 and consisted of a long, eerie moan that reverberated throughout the ocean for more than 15 seconds. Julia's origin remains a subject of debate among scientists, with some attributing it to the movement of massive icebergs, while others suggest it could be the result of undiscovered marine life or even an elaborate hoax. Slow down, a peculiar sound detected in 1997, is characterized by a gradual decrease in frequency over several minutes and has been compared to the sound of a large ship slowly coming to a halt. Despite extensive investigation, the source of slow down remains elusive, and it continues to captivate researchers who are eager to uncover its secrets, whether they lie in the realm of earthbound marine life or the unknown depths of extraterrestrial activity. The intriguing nature of these unexplained sounds incites our curiosity and drives us to explore the mysteries of our ocean, seeking answers to questions that have puzzled humanity for centuries and pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the world beneath the waves. Besides enigmatic sounds, underwater anomalies such as mysterious structures and lights have piqued the curiosity of researchers and ocean enthusiasts alike. One such enigma is the Baltic Sea Anomaly, an odd, circular formation discovered in 2011 on the ocean floor that resembles a massive, ancient artifact, or even a crashed UFO. Debate over the Baltic Sea Anomaly's origin persists, with some claiming it to be a natural geological formation while others argue that it could be a relic of a long-lost civilization or even extraterrestrial in nature. Another fascinating underwater structure is the Inogany Monument, a series of massive, stepped rock formations off the coast of Japan that some believe to be the remnants of an ancient, submerged city. However, the Inogany Monument's origins remain a topic of heated debate, with skeptics attributing the structure to natural processes, while proponents argue that its intricate design implies human or even otherworldly involvement. The ocean's uncharted depths have also been home to inexplicable light phenomena, such as bioluminescent flashes that seem to defy known explanations, leading to speculations of undiscovered bioluminescent creatures or even communication signals from extraterrestrial beings. One notable example is the Hestelin lights, a recurring phenomenon in which unexplained orbs of light appear to float and dance above the water's surface in Norway, leaving scientists and observers captivated and bewildered. These unexplained structures and lights provide a tantalizing glimpse into the vast mysteries that still await discovery beneath the ocean's surface, fueling our imagination and desire to uncover the truth behind these enigmatic anomalies. The development of autonomous underwater vehicles, OVs, has revolutionized deep-sea exploration, enabling us to venture into the abyss more frequently and with greater precision than ever before. These OVs are equipped with advanced sensors and cameras, collecting valuable data and capturing breathtaking images of underwater landscapes and previously undiscovered marine species. In addition, remotely operated vehicles, ROFs, have proven invaluable for conducting deep-sea research, with their robotic arms allowing scientists to safely collect samples and even interact with the marine life they encounter. The Hades, Hadopelagic Abyssal Denizens Exploration Submersible, project, for example, uses cutting-edge OVs and ROFs to study the unique ecosystems of the Hadal Zone, the deepest part of the ocean that remains largely unexplored. Furthermore, advancements in underwater communication systems have greatly improved the capabilities of deep-sea exploration vehicles, allowing for real-time data transmission and remote control from the safety of research vessels. Remarkably, the EDNA, Environmental DNA, sampling technique has emerged as a game-changer in ocean exploration allowing researchers to detect the presence of elusive marine species by simply analyzing the water they inhabit. This non-invasive method holds great promise for revealing the mysteries of the deep, as it allows scientists to study the biodiversity of remote and inaccessible areas without directly disturbing the fragile ecosystems. The marriage of artificial intelligence and deep-sea exploration promises to further accelerate our understanding of the ocean's depths, as machine learning algorithms can analyze vast amounts of data collected by OVs and ROFs, identifying patterns and making predictions that might otherwise elude human researchers. Researchers have recently discovered the Mariana snailfish, a translucent, scaleless creature that thrives in the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, enduring immense pressure and darkness. The discovery of this seemingly delicate fish in such extreme conditions challenges our understanding of the limits of life and raises questions about what other creatures may lurk in the unexplored depths. Another fascinating find, the so-called headless chicken monster, is a sea cucumber that swims gracefully through the water, resembling a headless chicken in flight. This peculiar creature, found in the southern ocean, has adapted to the cold and darkness by developing a unique way of swimming to escape predators, showcasing the exceptional diversity of life hidden beneath the waves. Venturing into the realm of the hypothetical, scientists have recently proposed the existence of a massive, many-tentacled creature they call the Deepsteria. 
Based on the analysis of a mysterious video shot deep in the Gulf of Mexico, the deep steria is thought to be a colossal, undulating jellyfish-like creature that would completely revolutionize our understanding of the ocean's inhabitants. In a groundbreaking discovery, researchers have found an entirely new type of underwater ecosystem formed by whale falls, the carcasses of dead whales that sink to the ocean floor. These whale falls support unique communities of organisms, including giant isopods and bone-eating worms, that rely on the nutrients provided by the decomposing carcasses to survive in the otherwise barren deep-sea environment. Moreover, the recent exploration of underwater hydrothermal vents has unveiled an astonishing array of life, including the yeti crab, a tiny, hairy crustacean that thrives in the hot, toxic waters surrounding these geological features. These countless discoveries demonstrate that the deep ocean holds a myriad of secrets, many of which continue to elude us, fueling our curiosity to explore and uncover the untold wonders hidden within its depths. The Nereid Under Ice, NUI, is an innovative remotely operated vehicle designed to explore the Arctic Ocean's uncharted depths, aiming to shed light on the impact of climate change on marine life and ecosystems. As part of the Ocean Exploration Trust, the EV Nautilus embarks on annual missions to map the seafloor and investigate shipwrecks, hydrothermal vents, and undiscovered marine habitats, providing invaluable data to scientists worldwide. A groundbreaking project, the Ocean Twilight Zone, led by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, seeks to explore the ocean's vast and mysterious midwater region, teeming with fascinating creatures that have adapted to life in near-total darkness. The Five Deeps Expedition, helmed by the research vessel Pressure Drop, has recently completed an unprecedented journey to the deepest points of all five oceans, unveiling new species and gathering invaluable data on the unexplored ocean floor. The Ocean Infinity's Armada fleet, featuring cutting-edge unmanned robotic vessels, is set to revolutionize ocean exploration, allowing scientists to conduct surveys, track climate change, and conserve marine ecosystems without endangering human lives. The recently launched Seabed 2030 project aims to map the entire ocean floor by 2030, an ambitious endeavor that could uncover new geological features, marine life, and resources, whilst transforming our understanding of the planet's hidden depths. Exciting collaborations between private companies and space agencies, such as SpaceX and NASA, are developing advanced underwater technologies that not only expand our ocean exploration capabilities but also lay the groundwork for future space missions. International initiatives like the United Nations Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development, 2021-2030, bring together scientists, governments, and organizations to promote research, innovation, and cooperation in exploring the ocean's vast and untapped potential. With the advancement of artificial intelligence and robotics, autonomous underwater vehicles, OVs, and remotely operated vehicles, ROFs, are poised to be the next generation of ocean explorers, capable of venturing into uncharted territories and gathering data in real time. Researchers are developing soft robotic systems inspired by marine life such as octopuses and jellyfish, which could revolutionize underwater exploration by allowing these machines to adapt and maneuver in complex and delicate environments. Combining deep-sea exploration with breakthroughs in synthetic biology, scientists are working on developing new bioengineered organisms capable of thriving in extreme conditions, which could provide valuable insights into the adaptations required for life in the deep. Quantum sensing technologies, such as atomic clocks and quantum magnetometers, hold the potential to dramatically increase our ability to detect and measure underwater phenomena, paving the way for a deeper understanding of oceanic processes. The integration of virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, R, in ocean exploration can enable scientists, educators, and the public to experience and interact with the underwater world like never before, fostering an increased sense of connection and commitment to ocean conservation. Crowdsourcing and citizen science initiatives, such as the use of smartphone apps to collect data on marine life and pollution, can empower individuals to contribute to ocean research and conservation efforts, ultimately democratizing the process of ocean discovery. International cooperation and interdisciplinary collaboration could lead to the establishment of a global network of deep-sea observatories and research stations, providing a constant flow of data and fostering a shared understanding about the importance of protecting our oceans. As we push the boundaries of ocean exploration, the next frontier of discovery will not only be about unearthing the secrets of the deep, but also about understanding how these findings can help us address global challenges, from climate change to the search for alternative energy sources.